Apollo Control, Houston here, 81 hours, 43 minutes. We uh, have not yet acquired, nor have we put in a call. But since it's about that time, I thought we'd better come up and let everybody know we're here. We have acquisition now, and we're getting telemetry data. Houston, over. And apparently Mike Collins is going to wait a few minutes before he uh, initiates conversation. Bring it up. Houston, Apollo 8. Oh, Roger, Frank. Good morning. Uh, you're loud and clear. How many? Loud and clear. Oh, welcome back. Let's see our cabin temperature. Cabin pressure is 4.9. Cabin temperature 77 degrees. And we apparently have the biomed switch on none of the pilots at this point. We got no data there. Follow away, Houston. Here it goes. Call. Roger, we uh, have a request that Jim space his marks, his five marks out a bit more slowly. Uh, if possible, we'd like to get uh, a couple of them uh, past the zenith. We're getting uh, five of them with rather rapid spacing, uh, and uh, the, from a geometry viewpoint, it would be better if he slowed them down a little bit and uh, lengthened them out so as to uh, include a couple past the zenith. Over. Houston. It sounds like another long, quiet, very much of a working pass. Uh, 81 hours, 51 minutes. The uh, With Frank warming up, as you heard, he'll be very busy flying the spacecraft. Lovell continues doing the uh, Program two, 22 auto optic exercises. Got just a solid block, one after another to do. Through this entire round. Bill Anders uh, 
is sandwiching, literally sandwiching in an eat period here between additional uh, landmarks, more Jim photography, Lawrence, there is like more to get conversation. Uh, of approximately 33 seconds between each mark. Uh, the last ones uh, we're copying roughly 15 seconds between marks, and we'd like to stretch it out even further if that's okay with you. Ground elapsed time, 82 hours to 83 hours, 10 minutes, an hour and 10 minutes. Uh, Bill Anders will get a rest. A well deserved one. To follow his lunch. At 81 hours, 53 minutes, this is Apollo Control Houston. We'll be back up with uh, more action when it occurs. Jim, I copy that it's easier for you to use the sextant than the scanning telescope. It gives you finer control. And say again after that. Follow eight, Houston. Do you read? Roger. Did you copy? Roger. I copy that it's. Tracking is easier using the sextant than the scanning telescope. It gives you finer control. And say again after that, over. And the combination of resolved and medium is perhaps the best combination. Uh, the combination of uh, our speed low is too, uh, too low. You can't catch up with the target. Roger, understand the best combination is resolved and medium, uh, low is just too low. Roger. Apollo Control, Houston, 82 hours, 13 minutes into the flight. And we are in the midst of one of our quieter passes today. Uh, Houston, Apollo 8. We've had uh, very little Apollo conversation as well as what we've had in the last 10 or 15 minutes. Roger, I'm not too sure what happened that time, Mike. I uh, was marking on the landing site using the code, and I kept getting a large uh, trunnion for auto optics, and I could see that the, uh, target, or the uh, landing site was coming up, so I just went manually and marked. And yet the, uh, the latitude and longitude were quite different from the nominal. Roger, uh, we copy that, Jim. Follow control here, that brings us up to the live action. Can't really tell whether this conversation will be extended or not. Mike Collins is doing a lot of note taking. Let's uh, hold on for a minute or two and see. Each revolution around the moon today, the crew has been given a go approximately about 20 minutes before loss of signal. Right now we stand 38 minutes from loss of signal in this particular rev. About to pass the uh, navigational updates to the crew. All right, Houston. Here it goes. 
Roger, we're checking into Jim's remarks on uh, his P-22, and in the meantime, I have your uh, maneuver pads and map updates at your convenience, over. Roger. Okay, uh, before that, uh, we'd like to take the DSC away from you, please, for a while. All yours. Thank you. And we'd like you to go to uh, Pooh and Accept. We have a P-27 state vector update for you. update or the TEI-8? The map will be fine. Okay, map update. LOS 8255-54. Sunrise 830549er. Prime Meridian 8311138. AOS 83. Four, Follow one, control four, here three. while Sunset, Mike is passing four, his uh, one, eight, update up. Four, five. We're looking at Relax, biomedical data on Jim Lovell, and his mean heart eight, rate is three, registering zero, 66. Seven, three, niner. Control point his two, high acquisition. heart rate over the recent sample eight, period three, has been 76, two, zero, as low as... Two, uh, one. Control point well, three. We have a new uh, data point here. Three, so as low as now four, 70. One, His mean five, rate one. is 74. B1 moving around a little bit. Is four, the respiration zero, rate is up two, somewhat? 20 two, to 21. And shows an activity mode as normal. Could be that he just went from the couch down to his GNN station and moved to in the opposite direction. Cabin pressure 4.9. Cabin temp 77 degrees where it's been most of the day. We'll go back now to the update. Roger, the TEI 8 pad. SPS slash GNN four five seven zero one minus zero four zero plus one five seven zero eight five one eight one niner zero four. Are you with me so far over? Roger. Okay. Plus three, three, Follow one, control nine, here. five. The crew now is uh, directly opposite zero, the Earth. They're one, just west two, of the Sea of Tranquility. Six, seven. Just south plus of the Imbrium zero, Sea. Four, seven, southeast one, of the six, big crater Aristarchus. One, seven, niner, and uh, directly zero, east of the enormous zero, ocean eight, Procellarum. Zero. Zero one yeah, only uh, just a not few miles applicable. north of a cluster of uh, zero landing zero sites which are right along one, the lunar equator. Eight, seven They're about eight degrees, three, eight lunar degrees three, north. Five, five, of these two, sites, uh, four of them three, we consider one, prime one, sites in that three, central three, Apollo three, zone, which three, is uh, five, boxed in by five, an area of about 45 two, degrees west, but 45 zero, degrees east, and running 5 zero, degrees north niner, and south of the lunar east. 2, year. 5, 2. Are you still with me, Oliver? And that's the area, of course, Roger. that... Uh, okay, picking up at the bore site star, uh, it's old Shuba, who is the uh, well center star and the head of the scorpion. He's down, zero, zero, one, zero, 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 Left four two plus zero seven seven three minus 
one six five zero zero one two niner eight two three six two five six one four six four six one eight north set stars remain serious Rigel roll one two niner pitch one five five yaw zero one zero four quad ullage for 15 seconds horizon on the four degree line at pig and requesting you zero the optics over Are you through with the computer now, Mike? It's your computer, uh, P27, Lem State Vector, in and verified. Roger, we're going to put the CSM slot. Roger. That's from it. noted uh, evidence of a restart in the computer and wondered if you had any remarks about it or... I know, Jim got screwed up in one of those programs, so he's getting kind of tired here and we got a restart in a couple of program alarms. I don't know what he did. Roger, Frank. Uh, uh, main point is the computer is looking fine to us now. about the limb brightness as the sun was about to come up have uh, sparked a lot of interest down here. And we'd like to ask him uh, if he gets a chance uh, to notice again or perhaps he can recall whether there were any uh, changes in the appearance of the stars, such as did he notice any twinkling while this was taking place? And uh, did he notice any, uh, any a narrow limb brightening within 10 to 20 seconds uh, prior to the sun's rising over? Uh, 
Oh, Roger, Jim, understand. Uh, we, we, we copied that, and uh, just are curious if you see it again, whether you notice any stars twinkling or any additional information. Uh, we'll do. We'll, we might have a chance to uh, control point one. Actually, he doesn't want to pass out too much of that information. He wants to save it and write a paper when he gets back, right? Right, and in German, probably, huh? Houston, Apollo 8. Apollo 8, Houston. Okay, uh, what time is that TV, Mike? 85, uh, 37? Uh, 8537 to, uh, Terminator, which is probably like 8614. Okay, well, I don't know if we can go that long with it, and I'm going to, uh, scrub all the other experiments, the convergent stereo or the other photography, and, uh, we are a little bit tired. I want to use that last bit to really make sure we're right for TEI. Roger, understand, Frank. A couple of miscellaneous items for you. We'd like you to uh, discontinue charging battery B at this time. We'd also like to uh, get a cryostir uh, two minutes on all four. And uh, your up telemetry IU switch uh, put to block, please. And you are go for the next lunar orbit. This is Apollo Control here. You heard the last transmission from Frank Borman, wherein he indicated uh, a, a planned uh, drastic reduction in activities in the next several revs. We've been noting that we, and suggested earlier, we had a tired crew. We've certainly indicated in Lovell's voice. We've heard very little from Frank, from Bill Anders, who is presently in a sleep period. It just could be that uh, it'll wind up our activities in lunar orbit. There's a conference going on out around the flight director's console, and it will be from that uh, the ground will make up its mind on what, what if anything is needed, what if anything we might suggest to Borman, and that undoubtedly be the subject of a further conference if anything more was needed. Sounded to me like Frank uh, was fairly definite that he wanted to wrap it up at this point and certainly let uh, Lovell get some rest before the trans-Earth injection burn. The uh, trans-Earth injection burn is planned for 89 hours, 15 minutes. 89 hours, 15 minutes. A major question in our minds uh, on this particular console is whether uh, 
This bobbing off of activities will include the television transmission on the ninth rev, and we don't have the answer to this yet. We'll, we'll should have the answer shortly. At 82 hours, 46 minutes into the flight, this is Apollo Control, Houston. Apollo 8, Houston, four minutes to LOS. You have control of the DSE now, and all your systems are looking good. Thank you very much, Mike. You bet. Yeah, we can hear him down here. All the way, Houston. Go ahead. Roger, we have one minute to LOS, Frank. Uh, you can terminate stirring up uh, your cryos uh, any time, and uh, we agree with all your flight plan changes, and have a beautiful backside, and we'll see you next time around. Thank you. All right. Follow control, Houston here, 82 hours, 56 minutes into the flight. We have just lost signal with the spacecraft, and uh, I believe you heard earlier Frank Borman declare that he had a tired crew. Jim Lovell was very tired. You could tell it from his voice as the afternoon wore on, and uh, he said he was relieving him of all further flight plan responsibilities. Five minutes after he said that, he came back up in the line, and he said Lovell is snoring already. Here is the uh, last few uh, conversational items with the crew before they went over the hill. Let's have the tape. This is Apollo Control. Houston here. Uh, you heard uh, Borman. And uh, since that conversation, the project manager, George Lowe, has come over to our console, and he said he... He urged me to make it very clear that uh, the Apollo Spacecraft Program Office is altogether happy with the data they've gotten today. They feel like they've gotten uh, as nearly 100% of the data as they could possibly get. He's quite pleased with it, and he's ready to give the crew a very well-earned uh, little extra bonus rest. We, uh, according to the best information we have from the uh, flight director, Cliff Charlesworth, and from the incoming flight director, we're going through a change of shifts here. We will still have the television pass as scheduled at, uh, I believe it's about 8.25 or 8.27 p.m. Houston time. Uh, yeah, to last approximately 45 minutes. We'll refine this more as we get to it. Let me check my log here. You know, we show it scheduled for 85 hours, 37 minutes. This is uh, more, uh, delineated earlier in the day. And it used to run to 86 hours, 14 minutes. That's elapsed time. And this is Apollo Control Houston at 82 hours, 59 minutes.